Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Keck Pickups. This might just be the last pickup video I have for now. I don't know if I'm bringing any more from Keks. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, it would have been like a few weeks, depending on how the scheduling's going. And I might have had some more time to pick up some goodies from Keks, but so far they haven't had any new titles, and these are the only ones I've got for now. Are these locked? Yeah, I got all these. So I'm going to enjoy playing and catalogizing them and putting them in alphabetical order and backing them up. So yeah, let's start with the first one. And we have, this is basically Family Trainer. It's basically a, like a cheap version of Wii's Resort, I think. That's the whole gimmick. It seems interesting. The part looked great and there's a good little mini games to do. Maybe, like, if you got four people, this could be a blast. But I saw it and I thought, you know what, it's caught my eye. I just want to see if there's anything that I can do with it. So, I picked it up. Next, I have this little beauty, classic British motor racing. It's a bit like the mini desktop racing, but with life-size cars. Three pounds, can't go wrong. Nice little racing car game. Keep you entertained for a bit. At the inside, the booklet I do have, and it's this baby right here. It's always great when you get the booklet because sometimes they don't have it, and it's just one of those annoying things to hopefully try and hunt down and find. Uh, next game is one pound fifty. It's Heat Seekers. I think I've played this before. Can't remember or a similar game on PS2. It looks pretty fun, like. I wouldn't really say hours of fun, but it can get you through the day. Plus, for the price that I got it for, like £1.50, you can't really go wrong. And it has manual, which I really like. So there's that one. Next one, we have the Tony Hawk Proving Grounds, which was £2. I didn't know they did Tony Hawk for the Wii. But then I remembered it's Wii. They did everything. And the Tony Hawk games are amazing. Like... Tony Hawk American Wasteland is my absolute favourite game to play. Whether it's on PS2 or Xbox, doesn't matter. If it's American Wasteland, I can play that non-stop. It's my favourite Tony Hawk game. And then, it does come with a booklet, but it's a bit bent. But I'm not really too upset as long as I have the game to play. Which is mostly what I like doing. Next one is a Transformers game. This is basically Revenge of the Fallen. I have another Transformer game, like the first one, the Transformers game of the, of the first movie. So having a second one is great to add to that collection. This was only £1.50. There's also a Transformers racing game um, as well, which I think I have that one. Not 100% sure. Uh, there is a booklet in this one, but I'm just trying to show it because it's always been put behind the warning label. So there you go, there's that. Adding to my Transformers collection. Next one we have Alvin and the Chipmunks, which is a two pound game. I couldn't remember if I have this or not. So I might have been doubling up. But I hope to God I don't have this in my collection. <laughs> For two pound, I can't really go wrong, but we've got to remember like this doesn't go to a good cause, like the charity shop ones. This goes in the Kex back pocket, which you, you know, <laughs> I'm not saying like £2 is expensive, but if I already got it, I wasted £2. It's not going anywhere worthwhile. Next game we have is like Pro Bowling, Burnswick one, which is basically another, like if you don't want to pay for Wii Sports, this is the next best thing for bowling, if you only play bowling for the Wii Sports. And that's all it is, it's just a bowling game. But for £2, it's got to be fun. Next one I have, Totally Spies. This is the, the Totally Party game. I know what you're thinking. It's a girl's game. Why do I have it? The question is, why not? And, you know, it could could be a bit fun. The play. And plus it adds to my collection. At the end of the day, I love adding to my uh, Wii collection, regardless of the title in it. And you can always start small. You don't have to pay out £13, £20 
on eBay, you can just go to a second-hand shop, pick up what they got, and start your collection there. That's what I've been doing. And you, and weirdly enough, some of them you find really good, and you get some great gems. You get hours of fun. This next one is Blazing Angels, Squadrons of World War Two, and this is only one pound. It looks really fun. Not gonna lie, this looks really epic. Experience World War Two air combat in famous locations with Wii controls. Yeah, I oh, know, epic. And the disc is a bit grimy, so I, I, I could wipe that later. But it's gonna play well. Actually, yeah, that is really grimy. God, is it? How do how do people keep that like that? Oh, uh, this next game. I saw for five pounds. I think it's the most expensive one that I brought for a pickup video when it comes to Wii games. But it's yeah, it's Bergan Defender of the Core, which from first glance on the front you think okay doesn't look great, but then look at the back, look at the battle sp spots and everything. It looks epic. It looks really fun. I thought, damn, I thought, you know, for £5, you can't go wrong. And you get the booklet. You get a booklet as well, the disc. So it's complete. Yeah, okay, you got the Kex stickers on there, but I can just remove them. Uh, this one is Ben 10, the Galactic Racing for £1.50. I pretty much, I think this is all, like, I, this is, I think this is the last Ben 10 game for, for the Wii. Because I have the other two, and they're pretty much down here. And these are the other two. So I have Protectors of the Earth and uh, Villigan Attacks. But I thought, you, you know, um, you can't go wrong with Kex prices. So that one completes the Ben 10 set, which is incredible. And then, as always, they don't want to show you the... The, the booklet first. I don't know why Kex do that. They always put it in the wrong order, but there you go. That's what we like to see. Perfect. Need for Speed Pro Street. Three pounds. Really cheap. I think this has a PS2 or a Xbox port. And it's a bit expensive, but the Wii game is just as good. Plus, you get the nice controls of the Wii, so you get an extra benefit, I suppose. And it has the booklet. Alright, we're back with Raving Rabbits, Travel in Time. This is not like a Rayman one, this is just Raving Rabbits on his own. Uh, David saw this and handed it to me, so yeah, £1.50, and it's compatible with the Wii Motion Plus, which I don't have the Wii Motion Plus, weirdly enough, I have. I love my Wii games, but still to this day, I have not gotten off of my arse and got the Motion Plus. I will do, but I just haven't yet. And then the disc. Brilliant. Another Rayman game, uh, uh, another Rabbits game, which is Go Home. £3.50, a bit dearer. A bit more for what you're paying for, but seems to be a lot more to do in this one and then the disc as well and now we have our last game and this is a good one i saved the best for last goosebumps horror land for three pounds i can't know they did a goosebumps game still i thought they stopped them years ago i didn't think the wii was ever going to get one that's why i never looked and when I saw it, I was thinking, Jesus Christ, there's, there's no booklet, which is annoying. Um, which is the only one that doesn't have a booklet, is the one that I like. <laughs> uh, but, oh, we had the disc, so yeah. But yeah, that's every one of the pickups I've done for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I don't know when the next one is. Hopefully by the time this one's out, there's already one plan for next week. But if there's none next week, then that's it for now. And I might move on to other stuff. But if you guys enjoyed the pickup series, remember to always leave a like, share your support by subscribing. And if you're new and you haven't done already, when you do subscribe, please make sure you turn notifications by ticking that bell icon to keep up with all the latest 
and I'll see you in the next awesome video. But until then, take care.